When a patient is activated on the transplant list, the coordinator communicates with that patient to notify the patient that they have been activated. Uh, we provide the instruction of how to communicate back to the transplant team, uh, including the fact that the transplant coordinator is their point of communication for the rest of the transplant team. Uh, we uh, instruct the patient to provide uh, any information with regards to any changes in condition, um, any uh, needs that they may have medically. Um, we also tell them that they are to continue on with their daily activities as they normally would because we do get contact information from them, um, often multiple numbers in the event that if we need to get in touch with them, let's say for a hard offer, that we are able to do so in a timely manner and we do not want them sitting at home waiting for that phone call to come. Uh, we will find them whenever the opportunity arises. When a patient is activated on the heart transplant wait list, they're activated according to their blood type and one of three different status levels. Status two is somebody who basically is taking pills to manage their condition. Status 1B requires uh, continuous intravenous medication. It's a specific type of medication uh, or some type of mechanical assist uh, device. Status 1A is somebody who is hospitalized in the intensive care unit where pretty much um, medical options have been optimized. Even though somebody is listed, let's say at a status two, their status can change. So it's extremely important for the patient to be in communication with the transplant coordinator when and if and those changes occur. When the transplant coordinator calls the patient, uh, when a heart becomes available, the coordinator will explain to the patient that we may have a heart. We provide the instructions on coming to the hospital to be admitted. We tell them it's a hurry up and wait scenario. We want them in the hospital admitted, but it may be a number of hours before that final decision about the heart is made. The final decision is made by the surgeon when he has an opportunity to physically examine the donor heart. The heart transplant team at UPMC is very patient focused. We have a very experienced team. We are always looking out for the welfare and benefit uh, of our patients. Uh, we provide ongoing information and education for the patients and their support persons throughout the entire journey.